Of 200 women asked, 20 believed that we have been visited by aliens. Of 300 men, 40 believed that we have been visited by aliens. At the 0 .05 significance level, can we claim that a lower proportion of women than men believe we have been visited by aliens? This will be a hypothesis test comparing two proportions. So let's set up our null, that's h sub 0, and our alternative, h sub 1, hypotheses. So we're testing p, the proportion, the true proportion, uh, proportion of women P sub W, is that less than, a lower proportion, is that less than the proportion for men? By the way, I know some books use pi for the true proportion, and that's fine. Just other books use uh, just P, and then P hat for the sample proportion. Okay. The I'm going to use just P for this uh population proportion and p hat for the sample proportion. The null then is pw greater than or equal to p sub m, proportion of women. And another thing with books, for very good reason, a lot of times books will just say strictly equals to in the null hypothesis. Okay, in words, that is the proportion of women who believe we have been visited by ali aliens is less than the proportion of men who believe we have been visited by aliens. So once we have our hypotheses set up, we're going to find the p-value. And the p-value is that probability of finding uh, a value as extreme or more um, given if the null were actually true. And the value that we're looking for, that we're testing, is, is some z value. So if we have the standard normal distribution, this is actually very similar to um, the procedure for testing about just one proportion. We have the standard normal distribution, and we have zero in the middle, and then we have these z scores. And we're going to use a formula to find a z score. And then we'll use Excel, you can use table as well to find this area to the left of, and it's to the left because we're dealing with less than here, less than. We're going to find this area to the left of z. This area to the left of z can be found in Excel using the norms, with an s, norms dist function, norms dist, and then z. That'll always give you the area to the left of that z. So just real quickly, if if you were finding an area up here, if you wanted to, if this was uh, a greater than, if the alternative was hypothesis was greater than, and you were finding this area, then you would just say one minus norms dist uh, to get your to get this this area because the total area under the curve is one. And so if you did norms dist on, on a z up here, you would get all of this area to the left. So 1 minus that would give you this in the orange. But I'm going to cross that out right now just because that's not what we're doing. We're not doing the right tail. We're doing the left tail. Now, the z, it's a little bit involved, actually. Um, it's not difficult. It's just tedious. So the z that we're looking for equals p hat, here's the proportion that I was promising, p hat sub 1 minus p hat sub 2. And let's keep these in the same order. So we'll, the w is the 1, the women is the p hat sub 1, and the, the men's proportion is p hat sub 2. That's our sample proportion. Minus our hypothesized difference, p sub 1 minus p sub 2. Uh, right away, I'm just going to tell you right now that this is going to be 0 because we're the null hypothesis is that these are 0, or that these are equal. So p sub w minus p sub m equals 0. So this is just 0. So we're not going to use that again, but I just I wanted to make sure that you know that that is part of the formula. Okay, all divided by 
the square root of something pretty big. The square root of p sub c times 1 minus p sub c all over n sub 1, so the, the women's uh, sample size, plus p sub c times 1 minus p sub c all over n sub 2. Now you should be asking yourself, what is this p sub c? p sub c is x sub 1, that's uh, the number of, of positives, so 20 for the women, plus x sub 2 over n sub 1 plus n sub 2. So in our example, that's uh, 20 plus 40 divided by the 200 plus 300. So that equals 0 0.12. That's going to go in for all of these P sub C's. Now, because <coughs> I'm not going to waste your time and because I um, and because I'm running out of space, I am not going to rewrite this whole thing. But what I am going to do is just give you a clue on this p hat. This this p hat sub one for the the women is 20 over 200. That's that's the p hat sub one. The p hat sub two then is 40 over 300. So plug that in, and you can find that as a decimal. It's, it's 0.1 and 0.1333 repeating. Plug the rest of this stuff in. The n sub 1 is, uh, is 200. We did this down here. This is 200, and n sub 2 is 300. The p sub c is right there. We have the 0.12. So I'm going to go ahead and, and just write this down. The z then. If you plug all of this stuff in, is approximately equal to negative 1.1237. That's our z. And now we can use Excel or a table, of course. You can use Excel. It's, it's nice and and quick to find this area to the left of z, and that will be your p-value. So I'm going to type that in right here. Equals norms dist of this z score so negative 1.1237 I've rounded there of course that decimal goes on longer and we get 0 0.13057 okay what does that mean for us the p value let's put it down here the p-value equals 0 0.1306. Uh, that is greater than. That is greater than our significance level, our alpha, 0 0.05. That's commonly called alpha. So, right here, I'm going to write the answer. We fail to reject the null fail to reject the null. And what that means is that we don't accept the null. We never accept it, but we're saying we can't go ahead and claim the alternative. We, with the data that we have, maybe if we had more data, we may be able to uh, go ahead and, and claim the alternative, but we can't yet. Well, there's too much chance of making a mistake of rejecting the null, so we're not going to reject the null, and we're going to say there's not enough evidence to say that the proportion of women that um, believe we've been visited by aliens is actually less than the proportion of men that believe we have been visited by aliens.